Next week Thursday will be eight months. Eight months old. After we got married, I will say daddy. It's finished, you don't do daddy. No, I don't want to say it on my birthday. It's not related. We will celebrate our anniversary here by the grace of God yesterday. We will celebrate our eight months anniversary here. We will gather everybody, they won't know. Well, we tell them we're celebrating our relationship. So all the things my mother will plan for this my head. For my birthday? Mm-hmm. Do you want to do? I shall look at the same bad thing. Maybe I shall want to do. Anything you want to do, you do for the issue of condo. No. Free, free to do whatever you want. You want to pass kiss for public. Elire and Cassia's latest update, guys. Oh, guys, so as we all know that Kelly Ray had a plan, which is to reveal to the housemaid that is married to Cassia on his birthday, being on 29th of this month, okay? But Kelly Ray has changed his mind, saying that he would like to postpone it to Thursday next week. And that will make it exactly eight months since they've been married. So, Kelly Ray's birthday will happen this weekend. But it will no longer reveal to the housemaid that he is actually married to Cassia. It feels that birthday and anniversary are two different occasions. Okay, he said he's going to leave it until next week. But Cassie, on the other hand, is worried. She says she doesn't know if she's going to make it till next week. Knowing fully well that she's up for possible eviction this week, okay? And she's insisting that she's going to, you know, reveal it to the housemates. But Kelly Ray keeps telling her, no, no, no. Do not say anything to them. Whatever you've planned out, go ahead and do it. But do not tell them that we are married on my birthday. Kelly Ray said that next week, Thursday, is going to gather the housemaid together and tell the housemaid that they are celebrating their eight-month relationship. By the time the housemates have already gathered, you will now serve them, you know, tea and bread. <laughs> He said by the time they are gathered, that is when they will now, you know, reveal the whole thing to the housemate. So guys, Cassia is not really happy about the whole update. Okay, because she has planned out a lot of things. <laughs> I'm like, wait till this girl don't plan. Wait till she don't plan. Uh -uh. She said, oh, I've already planned out a lot of things. And Kelly was like, ah, ah, shao. I'm like, hey, hey, hey. Won't you have your shower again? Cassia is really hoping that she will still be in the house till next week. And she's also worried that she would not like to miss, you know, that day Kelly Ray will be revealing to the housemates about the whole marriage thing. <sighs> but why Kelly Ray can't change mind now? The way I'm so excited about the whole thing already. Why he can't change mind? Eh? Why did he change his mind? <laughs> anyway... He knows better, okay? But he has said it that no matter how long it takes him, he must reveal to the housemaid that he's married before the end of the show, okay? He said it no matter what, he's going to reveal it to them because he doesn't want to leave the show knowing that the housemates are not aware that he's actually married. So, guys, what do you think about this update? What do you think about it? Oh my, Cassia is not having it though. She said she has planned a lot of things. Hey, <laughs> Kelly Ray, please oh, change your mind again oh, so that Cassia will be able to fulfill all her promise. Eh? And Kelly Ray was not asking, wait till you don't, pro wait till you don't plan. Cassia's plan was to like show Kelly Ray off totally, totally without, you know, restriction <laughs> on his birthday. Cassia was thinking that once. They reveal to the housemate that they are married, you know, should be able to like go all out, you know, do a lot of PDAs and all of that. But since Kelly Ray is changing his mind, she might just limit it to only, you know, lock him out. So guys, Kelly Ray just tried to like encourage Cassia and told her that don't worry, I know what I'm doing. Just relax and fingers crossed you make it to next week. After the whole conversation, baby girl wanted, you know, a lot of personal time, a long time with a man. Baby girl told her man that he get her body they do our, you know, body they do her somehow. I'm like, girl, you guys have really tried. Married couple acting like single people, you know, Daisy. Body don't be firewood, but I love how, you know, they are still respecting themselves and respecting their marriage because last, last, 
I don't think these people will want their children be, to see them, you know, doing one or two things uh -huh, on the TV. And uh, we all know internet, no, they will ever forget. This thing will still be on the internet 20, 40 years to come. So I bet made the whole body well, I bet made the whole their body two weeks, less than two weeks, the show will be over. Aside from adding the whole anniversary thing, I think Kelly Ray is worried that if he reviews the whole marriage thing to the housemate, that it might affect his game. And we know a lot of viewers love them because of the fact that they are married and the housemates are not away. Be like, say, Baba done raising the whole matter. And he knows that vote ends on Thursday, okay? And that same Thursday is the day he has decided that, okay, do you know what? I'm going to spill this thing. Our oh, guy is a gamer. His head is in the game, okay? <laughs> he don't calculate everything well, well. Which is not a bad thing. Are you still here, Kelly? Let me turn it on. This one, I'm still coming. Is it really? Is that good? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What is that smell? <laughs> Moving on, guys. Did you see the yummy looking, well served breakfast Anita made for herself? Oh, not be every time they go to quarry. Every time they go to quarry. Baby girl brought a feminine touch. I made this yummy looking like it's giving breakfast that you get in all these, you know, high end restaurants. Something you pay reasonable amount for. Uh -uh. Baby girl. And Tofa could not believe his eyes. Tofa is so excited, like he kept blushing and looking at Anita. Is this still my Anita that is doing all these things? I really love, love, love how, you know, she allowed Tofa to have the first taste, you know. Tofa kept expressing himself, being so happy and showing off a lot of gratitude. And Anita, Anita just, was just there looking at him like, what did they worry you? <laughs> wow, even Big Brother had to show us the food. Ah, ah, you know, easy. You see how the food is looking, looking really yummy. I love it. It's not be all the time you they receive, you they receive. You to learn to give. That is exactly what she did today. And I love it so much for her. So, guys, I really like to hear your opinion concerning this whole Kelly Ray Cassia thing. Would you like to see Cassia in the finale? Would you still want her to be in the house by next week in order to witness when Kelly Ray will finally review the whole marriage thing to the housemaid? Because I went on Twitter and I see a lot of drags between Double K fans saying that they want Cassia to go home. So that they can focus on only Kelly Ray. Why some persons are saying Cassia should remain in the house. They want to vote for Cassia. They want to vote for Kelly Ray. They both deserve to win. Cassia can win. Kelly Ray too can win. Like, there's just a lot of back and forth. What is your honest take in this whole thing? My honest, even if Kelly Ray and Cassia are still in the house till finale. Now, just one person go win now. Abby? Fans should find a way to decide on whoever they want to see win the show and focus their vote on that person. Both of them being in the house till finale, I don't really think it will cause any harm. Whoever will win will still win at the end of the day.